Teresa Johnson is an Atlanta-based woman who accused her ex-husband of deceit in literally every aspect of his life. You might know her as Risa Tisa on TikTok as she gained viral fame with her extensive series titled, Who the F Did I Marry? In this era of short-form content, Risa Tisa managed to captivate an audience all around the world with her seven-hour-long 50-part saga. So if you missed the intricate details of her captivating story and how she ignored all the warning signs, stick with us. In the first few parts, things were pretty light. Teresa detailed how red flags emerged very early on in their relationship and noted how they only got worse because they stayed together during the lockdown. Throwing an unexpected pregnancy in the mix was a disaster that just kept on building. Thankfully, she made sure that there were recorded conversations to remember discrepancies in his words and behavior. At this point, we would like you to note that she did not reveal the identity of this man. Teresa referred to her ex-husband as Legion throughout her TikToks. All great stories start at the beginning, right? Well, let's take it from there. Their relationship began when they were matched up on two different dating sites. She didn't know it at the time, but it was the same man, just using two different names. Legion claimed to have relocated from California, claimed that he currently worked as a vice president for some food production company, and also claimed he had amassed substantial wealth while playing arena football earlier in his life. These were all lies. Their plans to purchase a home together hit hurdles as Legion refused to provide proof of funds. This was the first sign that he had no substantial wealth lying anywhere. Amidst the turmoil, Teresa experienced a miscarriage and Legion's reaction and subsequent behavior was another sign that he was not the supportive partner she needed. Next, she recounted their engagement and how there was nothing romantic about it. He basically just handed her the ring box at dinner, declaring, we're getting married. Now reflecting on all of it, she admitted his flaws were evident and she should have questioned more. And again, I was still making my audio diaries. So listening back to it, I knew something was was wrong. I admit that. I knew something was wrong. Teresa also detailed instances where his manipulations obscured these warning signs. Every now and then, her questions would be met with logical responses that threw her off and made her doubt her intuition. By part 14, Teresa notably delved into her motivations for staying in the relationship. She cited fear of loneliness, social judgment, and a strong desire for marriage as reasons that kept her bound to him longer than she should have been. Eventually, she developed suspicions regarding his relationship with his family, but his convincing phone conversations with supposed family members misled her. She would later find that all those calls were fake and all the conversations and laughs he was having with his family were all made up. In the meantime, their relationship hit a pivotal moment when she delved into his phone and stumbled upon incriminating messages to other women on Facebook. Confronting him, he downplayed the significance of the messages. This new level of distrust led them to marriage counseling a mere three months into their union. The counselor was so alarmed by the signs of infidelity that it was a wonder how they got married in the first place. Amidst his web of deceit, tensions peaked when she required his social security number for a job application that she was processing. Discovering discrepancies between the number he provided and the one on their marriage license unveiled a startling truth. He had fabricated everything about his past. For one, he never resided in California. Unfortunately, his fabrications extended beyond geography. He also embellished his employment history and educational background. Further investigations conducted by Teresa would also reveal details about his previous marriage. It turns out that this marriage was brief and ended as a result of infidelity. Armed with this newfound knowledge, she obtained his ex-wife's contact details. Making that phone call would reveal some very dark truths that she missed. Now this would take us back to their first stint in marriage counseling. Legion had made a distressing call from work, claiming his stepdaughter succumbed to COVID and requested funds for the funeral. Trusting his sincerity, Teresa gave in to this request. Now, when she contacted his ex-wife, she learned the truth that Legion's stepdaughter was alive. I asked her, how was your daughter? She said, my daughter's fine. And I said, okay. She said, what did he say about my daughter? And I will be honest with y'all, I didn't have the heart to tell her. So what I said instead was, oh, no, it was, you know, with everything with COVID, I think he mentioned that she might have um, 
she might have had COVID or was exposed to it. I downplayed it bad. I wasn't going to tell that woman that he said her daughter passed away. If you thought that was all of it, you would be wrong. Teresa eventually stumbled upon Legion's mother's obituary, and this raised even more questions than answers. The listing omitted any mention of the wife she had spoken to. Rather, it named a woman named Latoya as his ex-wife. Teresa was stunned. That now made two previous marriages, with all ending very abruptly and tumultuously. The Latoya marriage, in particular, ended with both parties having protection orders against each other. As Teresa delved deeper into her private investigation, Legion's health declined due to a knee injury. At some point he was bedridden. His physical ailments did not stop her, though. When Teresa gathered enough evidence, she called him out on all of it and demanded a divorce. Initially resistant, Legion attempted to salvage his facade by involving family members. However, Teresa was bent on leaving him. One notable lie she caught was when a cousin of Legion contacted her to tell her about his antics since he left their home. Apparently, Legion had been going around pleading with his family members for support. He lied that he caught his wife cheating on him, and the man she was cheating with ended up pulling a weapon on him and chasing him. Now, this cousin was not aware of a third marriage, but she knew too well that Legion was a pathological liar. So by finding Teresa and talking to her, another deceitful charade had been uncovered. All those calls where he pretended his family was saying hi to her were all an act. In light of all of this, Teresa initiated divorce proceedings less than a year into their marriage. She faced some resistance from him, but at the end of the day, a dissolution was reached. Since then, she has maintained no contact with him and intends to keep it that way. There you have it, the crazy expose on the enigma that is Legion. As we said, this story had TikTok on a chokehold. Seven hours long, but every hour, more and more people were sucked into the Risa Tisa story. But this is not where the story ends. The aftermath of her expose has since stirred some more controversy. You see, while Teresa had thought that she was being sleek by assigning her ex-husband the pseudonym Legion, she had still left a long trail that would lead to him. Her story was a bit too descriptive, and she even left other significant names unchanged. The internet had a field day with this one, digging and digging until they struck gold. In no time, they identified a man named Jerome McCoy, whose background aligned with Teresa's narrative. And of course, he confirmed the suspicions. We mean, he could have just stayed silent. Weeks from now, the next big thing would have rolled over, and Legion would have been old news. But no, Jerome McCoy, also known as JC Rome, responded to Teresa's allegations on TikTok. He not only announced himself, he also alleged that she had cheated on him and was now lying against him. He threatened legal action against her and also teased a forthcoming Netflix series to tell his side of the story. Well, don't hold your breath because if this 50-part series was any indicator, Jerome could very well be lying. Not to be funny, but the signs are already there. Imagine sharing a photo of somebody else in the Netflix office as proof that you are in talks with the organization. At some point, he was defiant in the face of backlash, but later on, he would express intentions of departing from TikTok. Notably, Teresa provided an update to her story recently. She mentioned that she had heard back from Legion's older brother Chris, who clarified the timelines and shared additional insights into Legion's actual relationship with his family. Chris reached out to Teresa through a local attorney friend of hers, Tracy Tripp. Chris clarified that Legion's mother passed away first and was followed by his father a few years later. Legion brought his ex-wife to their father's funeral. Unfortunately, there was an altercation with his older brother, and from that day, the two never saw each other again. Chris also disclosed that their parents had made efforts to help Legion. Turns out that Legion had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder and schizophrenia since childhood. Their father even came out of retirement just to help pay for Legion's medications. But as he grew older, he stopped taking them. He was like, I realized that every relationship my brother gets in, he gets worse. And it sounds like he is actually worse than what he was in the last relationship. And I thought he was talking about the ex-wife that I had spoken to. No, he had no idea there was another wife. Because again, he hasn't spoken to him since 2015. So he was like, the best thing I can say to you is this. 
He said, thank God you ain't have kids with him. He said, get your divorce and forget you ever met this man. In the wake of Teresa's revelations, she has received overwhelming support from the public, with many expressing admiration for her courage. Several brands and companies have also reached out to her, offering various opportunities. Furthermore, Teresa shared that she has acquired tickets to London and Paris. She had mentioned that these were her dream destinations, and also promised to take her followers along on the journey. Despite the turmoil caused by her ex's threats of legal action, Teresa seems prepared to confront any challenges ahead. She is most likely more loaded than he is, and even better, she has the support of a worldwide internet community. Have you been following the trend, or was this a lucky find? Share your thoughts in the comments.